Let's get it all done. This is Let Us See. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to get it all done. We're going to get the house cleaned up and ready. We're going to throw dinner in the crock pot, which is, by the way, my crock pot sticky ribs. A very easy recipe to do. And I'll put all the information that you need to make the sticky ribs in my description box down below. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. All the views, likes, and dislikes is helping me get my name out there and beating that YouTube algorithm, which is so important to help your channel grow. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's telling everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe word and tap on that bell. The bell is important. It helps you know when I upload more content and you can personalize it to your preference. We're going to turn this camera around and I'm going to show you exactly what we need to do with a walkthrough and then we're going to get cleaning. We are going to sweep in the TV room. It's too early to run the vacuum cleaner. I put my fall tablecloth out and a little display. I'm going to be doing a video on decluttering pantry shelves again soon. I'm going to take care of the TV room. I'm going to shake out the rug, wipe down the coffee table, I'm going to wipe the front of the couch there, wipe down the TV, and we're going to sweep with the bedrooms. I'm going to make a bed in here, and we're going to do the bathroom. It'll be dark for a second. Why don't we start in the bathroom and get this all cleaned up. Landlord put a new handle on the toilet. My dinner plans, I had to cancel because I cannot have company over without a working toilet. It wouldn't be good. I scrub out the sink. I love the smell of the Ajax, and it's not abrasive and it doesn't scratch your surfaces. Make sure you get all the chemicals. Do the back of the faucet as well, which can be a little tricky. Taking care of the toilet. Looks like I have to get some more of those thousand flushes from Dollar Tree.
take care of the bed here. My teen has practice after school today. So I'm going to make things easy for them by getting their bed made and putting things back in the closet. Got to get the bed made. Got to fix the edges here. The fitting keeps popping up. Got to see about getting new sheets for the beds. I want to get my kid a firm mattress top as well. Like I did for Jacqueline. Because Jacqueline's sleeping better. Since we replaced the horrible old mattress. Put these things in the closet for a second. You're gonna see part of me and hear me. I'm gonna watch out for the bed frame. up in here so they can get their homework done. Then we'll go to the front bedroom once they sweep and we're going to make that bed and sweep the floor in there. It's nice that they're not very big rooms to get things done quicker. rearranging the bed soon because the air conditioner will be coming out and reversing this the setup so it'll be easier to get to the closet. So let's get the bed made in the front bedroom and do a sweep. This bed will stay where it is because the air conditioner will be easy to remove. It's smaller than the other one. At least I think it is it looks smaller. back. I'm a person that likes to sleep with the fan on all year, even with the air conditioner on. I like that white noise. Plus it drowns out the sounds from the crickets or the occasional barking dog out here in the country. And sweep up over here. This is like the smallest of the bedrooms. I think it might have been a sitting room at one time because this house is very old and they added a closet. Or it might have been one big bedroom and they put a wall. Because it seems like the closet's hollow, like you could walk through one at one time. Swept. Behind the door.
the dining room now. I'm going to get the mulch off the floor from cleaning the gerbil. Plus she likes to kick out the soiled mulch. Keep her cage fresh. I clean their cage two, three times a week, depending on how wet the newspaper get. I'm going to do a good full clean of her cage. and clean out the sink. I'm going to give it a good scrub in here. I went ahead and washed the dishes today. You should wash your sink after every washing of dishes. Or at least wipe it out so it doesn't stain and smell. I'm just using hot soapy water, making sure there's no food on the side of the sink here. And then I rub it with the sponge if I feel anything again. Starting to feel nice and smooth. And I do the stainless. Wiping out the sink. All the soap is now gone. And the sides feel good. Again, if you feel anything, just rub the sponge over it again. I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to go over to the stove top. I'll be using my Dutch oven later for Mexican cornbread, which I'll be filming for this channel. My kid requested egg whites for their lunch box, so I'm going to boil some eggs and take out the yolks for them and look up what I could do with egg yolks so they don't go to waste. Hang up the pot holder. Command hooks have their benefits, but they do have their faults, and they're by weight, so be careful what you hang, and be aware of the weight on the package and your item you hang. Otherwise, you could have a disaster on your hands. need to wipe the bottom out because I put foil down. I'm going to leave that there. Microwave. Oh, I'm going to have to get some super glue for the handle here. Done. Wipe down the countertop. Before and after every meal prep, including snacks, 
I've been getting my children into the habit of doing that so I don't come into the kitchen and find peanut butter stuck to the counter or strawberry tops or whatever it was they were prepping. I'm going to be using this onion in the crock pot today. Nice hot water on the work surface. I'm going to grab everything we need, these sticky ribs, including a soda. I'm going to put a cup of soda into the crock pot with the ribs and they're going to come out nice, tender, and yummy. Let's remove the lid here. And I'm going to turn it to low so I don't forget because I don't want to come back to the crock pot four hours later and find out that it's never turned on. I'm just going to adjust my stand mixer. And now I'm going to grab my pork ribs, barbecue sauce, a can of crushed tomatoes, some bell peppers, some garlic and black pepper, and a barbecue sauce. I'm going to start with my celery. I'm going to take about four stalks. I'm going to put these ones back. And before I put them in the refrigerator, I'm going to wrap them up in some paper towels so they stay fresh and longer. Give them a quick rinse. And these are my new knives from the garage sales. And they're so sharp and I love them. You'll hear my husband in the background. He's probably in a meeting. We got a lot of fresh produce for this recipe. I'm going to bag potatoes. I'm going to put them into the oven. My kid is always starving when they come home from cross country. Even though I send snacks and they eat their lunch. My tween has been eating their lunch for the past couple days. All of it. That's awesome. Get the onion cut. These are very sharp, so I'm a little slower than normal until I get used to them. I'm going to dump celery and onion right into the crock pot. The red pepper today. I'm going to cut it really quickly. The only thing I waste from the red pepper is the inside and the little hat. Go ahead and just dump that bell pepper right in. Now I have some barbecue sauce here, perhaps original. I'm going to squeeze out as much as I can. Directly into the crock pot here. I'm 
and just let that stand like that for a moment. And that looks like the end of the bottle here. I'm going to add just a couple of tablespoons from this new bottle. An entire can of crushed tomatoes. In the summertime, I pick up my barbecue sauce at the Dollar Tree because it's one of the best prices available. It's a whole can of crushed. This is how I make my semi-homemade barbecue sauce. And it's semi-homemade because I'm using craft with my own ingredients. And about a tablespoon of ketchup. Take your wooden spoon. I'm going to mix everything together. Now we're going to season the ribs and add them in. I have my ribs here. I rinsed my knife and my cutting board because you don't want to cross contaminate. And I'm just going to put a slit at the top of these ribs here. It's called scoring. And we're going to sprinkle three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. and two teaspoons of garlic. You don't need to add salt to the pork because pork is already salty. If you wanted to, you can add just a pinch just to bring out the extra flavoring. Let's go ahead and drop in the ribs. Now I'm gonna Put in about a cup of soda. Pour it right over the ribs. You can use any kind of soda you have on hand. And then we're going to cover this. It's already set to low until about 3 30, 4 o'clock today. And it's now 9 01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here's what my ribs look like. I will make sure everything you need to know is in my description box down below. I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And as soon as I get that other selfie stick, my angles are going to be so much better. We got it all done. We're all swept. Everything looks good. Bed's made. My pantry shelves will be a separate video because that will just be way too long. Bathroom's done. And the bedroom is nice and cleaned up. Clutter free table. The kitchen's done. Countertop, stove top, oven. We'll fix the door in the microwave later. I did the dishes in the sink from dinner prep as well, and I'll put them away when they're dry. That is it for this video. Get it all done. Dinner prep. Everything's cleaned up and ready for the day. Thank you so much for watching me to the end and hanging out with me. I really appreciate everyone's support, all the views, likes, and dislikes. As I said in the past, it's helping me beat that YouTube algorithm. My views are way up than they were from last year at this time. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, from my family's heart. Let's get to that 600 so we can do that next round of Dollar Tree gift card giveaways. The $10 value for one new sub and for one comment must be United States residents. And please, if you are new, let me know in comments so I can choose wisely. So I can choose a winner. Because if you don't tell me that you're new, I'm not going to know. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Smash on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget about the other contest later this week.